there in Skipton, just in front of us. You can see Pennine Cruisers and all the little boats. That's uh, one of the ones that we'll be having today. I think we're aboard Rosie today, so uh, I'll be doing more videos as we uh, get on board and, and take her out. Okay, so this is us just coming out of Skipton. This is still the boat, it's absolutely tiny. Uh, this is Neil, the tiller, who's going to be driving for most of today. It is very small, but it's got everything you need for a day. It's got a fully equipped kitchen and a toilet, so it's, it's all good. Um, this is just coming out of uh, Skipton and we're, we're going very slow past all these mud boats. I know it looks as if we're going quite quickly, but uh, obviously I've speeded the video up. Okay, so here we are on board Rosie, um, just coming out of Skipton. It was a little bit dicey coming out. Neil's not um, steered a, an arrow boat before, but we've, we've got a hang of it now and, and things are just going along nicely. So we'll be taking lots of video as we go further down the canal um, and seeing what there is to see around Skipton. Okay, so we're coming past some more moored boats here, quite a lot down this uh, stretch of the canal. Uh, little swan there looking at us. Um, there's some uh, lovely stretches of, of countryside this way out. Uh, I mean, if you just look, it's just hills as far as you can see. Lots and lots of wildlife, obviously. Um, there's, there's an awful lot of these really pretty stone arched bridges as well uh, they seem to be a bit of a feature this uh, this was a pub that we were passing unfortunately it was quite early in the morning so it was closed um, again we're coming to another one of those arched bridges I like how it makes a sort of circle with the reflection this is the first swing bridge that we came to of the day um, there are quite a few of these as well along the stretch there are no locks um, for 12 miles out of Skipton uh, but there are quite a few of these. This was a, a fully manual bridge. You can see Sam in the purple t-shirt stood there. He's just opened it for us. Obviously we stopped and picked him up and now we're uh, heading off again. Um, again, it's, it's speeded up. Um, we've slowed down for the moored boats again. This So we've been up nearly as far as Silsden and we've just uh, moored up and had a picnic and now we are, we've turned the boat around and we're heading back down to Skipton to return the boat for half past four. Okay, so here we are at another one of the swing bridges. Um, this is actually me pushing it. Um, Neil and Sam are moored up over there. They're actually now just coming through, accompanied by some ducks, obviously. Uh, so once they're clear of the bridge, hopefully they'll uh, they'll stop for me, um, and I can push the bridge back into place. Um, and then this little device is is what you lock it down with. You have a little key that sort of screws that in. Once that's done, back over the bridge. Sam's just waiting for me to get on the boat and off we go again. Um, those of you that know this stretch of canal may have actually picked up that some of these sequences may not actually be in the right order. Um, just passing some lovely uh, cows there. Um, yeah, they may not be in the right order because we had a bit of a charging cable um, disaster uh, and we had to use three separate phones to gather this um, this footage as you can see there's lots and lots of wildlife lots of uh, geese there um, and there are quite a few other higher boaters about uh, this is a little inflatable dinghy that very kindly got to the side and there's a swan with lots of babies um, there is uh, it's a very busy um, canal on a Saturday in the summer um, the the company Pennine Cruises where we got our um, day boat does six day boats just out of Skipton Basin and there's another company also doing day boats as well as you know all the regular boaters and the weekly 
higher as as well so uh, there's not many stretches where you come along where there are not other boats either going in the same direction as you or uh, coming in the opposite direction it's quite handy having uh, boaters going in the same direction as us because obviously you get a bit of help with the swing bridges so we were doing one and then the ones behind would go through and then they'd be in front so they'd do the next one just makes life a, a little bit easier um, and there's also lots of people about walking and you know taking dogs out and things because it is a very popular um, tourist destination uh, there's also lots and lots of moored boats along here at various locations and you can see why it's an absolutely stunning area to to come through and to moor up in oh, we've got some cows in there paddling in the canal and eating the vegetation and uh, again more cows in in the field there um, it's some parts of the canal are quite closed in by the trees um, still lovely still it's it's almost like going through a, a green corridor but in some parts you can't see as much of the canal uh, much of the countryside as you can in other parts and then others like this open out and you can see right across the countryside this is actually me doing a, another swing bridge uh, but this is actually in in real time so this is um, well, it's how long it takes somebody like me to push it open. I'm assuming somebody stronger may be able to get it going a little bit quicker. Um, so we're setting off again. And again, this is a more open stretch. Now, you might not be able to see that very well, but that's actually me daring to have a go and everybody else daring to let me have a go at the tiller. Um, it was a fairly straight bit there wasn't um, any other traffic and not many moored boats and now you can see it's just coming back into Skipton Basin uh, very very busy area lots of boats all coming back to moor up in the same place as us because it's roughly the time when the day boats are all being returned so we've got to get it turned round because it has to be moored in the opposite direction to the one that we're traveling uh, so there's there's sort of a big area where you can turn around here not that we need it it's a very small boat but uh, Neil's just bringing it round um, and then he'll he'll take it to where the moorings are and uh, and we'll tie it up so it's been an absolutely stunning day we've really really enjoyed it um, and thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you next time